Hi. 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 Yes, Welcome. Joelle. You look so pretty. Thank you. You're so low. Oh, no, it's my speaker. No, it's me. It's me. Okay. What's up? How you feeling? Um, I just recently woke up. I had to take me a quick little hoe bath and um, burn my teeth. Look, at least you washed your ass. That's it. I That's did. all the matter. Shower and wash this shit. <laughs> but first off, I want to say that you really, really look good. Like, how are you staying on top of your workouts and stuff during quarantine? Because, baby, I'm uh, eating everything. Well, I've been... I haven't been eating everything, and you know, I recently got the gastric sleeve surgery in November, mm -hmm. so it helps me out, and I really can't eat shit but like three bites, so I try to eat a lot of fu fu fruit and drink a lot of little water, honey, if I can drink the water. You know, sometimes I have my days where a bitch don't want to do nothing but drink some Patron, okay? Okay. And I, I just touch me. Okay. <laughs> well, you done had a very eventful 2020, even though we done had all this other stuff going on. You have dropped new music, and you just dropped that video, too, to um Drake's uh, Say When. You know, that's my baby daddy. Yes. Uh-huh. And I see some headlines uh, talking about you. Um, You done mess with Drake. I'm like, now nah, I know she said that's what she wanted to. I, today, I ain't never touched Drake. Drake ain't never touched me. He never came at me sideways or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. I have met Drake. Uh, I think he knows the way I feel about him. Um, <laughs> like when I when I meet him, um, when I see him, he know who I am. He be like, mm -hmm. I see. Um, he always be respectful, but I'm studying trying to let him know, like, baby, some things I want to do to you. <laughs> look, look, okay. <laughs> um, if you feeling me or not, but you need to let me know because I'm not finna keep doing this with you. I'm not finna keep seeing you and, and lusting, okay? Right, it's 2020. Let me know what's good. I love Drake. Don't nobody even know how much I love him. Like, I made a song dedicated to him. Like, I remixed his whole other song. This is what people don't know. I remixed his whole other song, and I didn't put it out. But it was like, uh, I'm like, damn, Drake, what's up? Could I at least catch one nut, put it in my hey. and I ain't trying to fuck one time. I want to fuck you multiple times a nut. I want to do for you what Martin did for his people. You know, ran by the man, but I got your back. It's an eye for an eye, we equal. I heard you like them BBWs. I'm a big, pretty, thick, fine bitch from the avenue. And I might talk shit with a smart ass mouth, but I feel like a bad, I the better you. Uh, you can hey! Take you need to <laughs> drop that. Where is that? We wait on that now. Uh-uh. Cortez told me, don't drop it because he said, I'm talking real nasty now. But that's what we like, though. I told him, and he was like... I don't want your kids to hear this. I said, Cortez, my kids hear a lot of shit that I say. <laughs> well, that's all good, though. But I still got it. You know what I'm saying? I might like, just release that motherfucker now. I feel like you should because you just released this last one. And we starting to, you know, wonder. So you might well go ahead and drop that thing. Uh -uh, I got another one for y'all. It's called Stick Talk. I dropped that Monday. Next following Monday, I dropped the fucking, um, uh, what is that? Next, the following Monday, I dropped the video for Stick Talk. I'm just going to be dropping for every Monday. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to slow up on y'all. I'm going to be dropping. We're going to drop music. That's what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Until the 26th, because that's when the new one drop, right? The whole mixtape drop on the 26th. It drop on the, yeah, 26th or the 25th, one of them. Okay. Just want to come up with all them damn dates. I really don't know, because if it was up to me, I would have just been gay y'all that shit. Right, because we waiting. We ready. Are you dropping um videos for every song, too? Huh? Are you dropping visuals, videos for every song, too? I to do visuals because even while i'm here now i'm trying to get a visual done mm -hmm. so it's like I'm, I'm working i have no time to be you know why i'm i even took a risk coming to houston you know what i'm saying like i'm not i just came and when i came to houston i was like look i gotta come down here i talked to my brother junior boy or whatever and i was basically telling him like nigga i gotta come work because atlanta i feel like i i got my city my city loved me you know I with my city with me. Um, I need to go to different cities and, and then show this talent, show this personality. So I came down here, you know, work. You know what I'm saying? Doing this quarantine, I just been in the room or in the studio. You know, ain't been number like two to three people with me or whatever in my presence. So we just out here and I'm just working. I'm grinding. You know, that's yes. all. And I'm doing this with no label or no budget behind me. So you, you know, I'm thankful. And speaking of Atlanta, like having Atlanta on lock already. I know you are the queen of Atlanta. And why is that? Why that's so important to you? Like, what does that really mean to you to be the queen of Atlanta? It means a lot. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can't be a fake bitch and repping Atlanta. I don't I don't like that. And I'm hard raised and 
I'm racing at Atlanta. And I feel like, just like, if you're not strong enough, you won't be able to carry the city on your back the way I do. I don't play by Atlanta. No artists that come from Atlanta, nobody can come for because I love my family. Like, I love Atlanta. You know what I mean? And I'm just for my city, you know? I, I don't have a problem with other cities or nobody coming to Atlanta. You know what I mean? Um, and you don't really have to check in with me. You know, all that stuff that people seen, it was really more of a, these people writing this and this is what I got to do for television. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I really don't care nothing about people coming to Atlanta. So, you know, I just did what I did for my chick, you know. But I want to clear the air and just let it be known that you can come where well, you come to Atlanta. Um, I just love my city. I put my city on my back. And who else was going to represent the city the way I'm representing? You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, I'm a rapper. So what if uh, a, a, a rapper artist try to come for for a queen from Atlanta that's from, you know what I mean? You, bitches can't can't stand on 10 how I stand on 10. You know what I mean? So I look at it as, as multiple ways. And to be a queen, you know, you got to roll back out the uh, the letter for the people that's the up and coming that's from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm about. As you can always see, like, I'm always seeing who's hard from Atlanta, like, I'm not a hater, but what I don't, I don't do. I don't, I don't act like you hard and you not hard. Yeah. It's talent in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? It's people that really got, talent, you know what I mean? Slime like Shawty, I'm a redder, you know what I mean? Look, mm -hmm. it's, it's people out here that's from Atlanta that has talent. And what I do is, you know, I put my city on point blank period. You know what I mean? Whether you see me, uh, uh, at my worst. Or you see me at my best. I'm a real bitch. I own up to it. You know what I mean? And it's, it, I feel like it's a lot of fake shit that goes on. I feel like it's a lot of fake shit that goes on in this lifetime. And people don't understand that I own up my shit. Like, I'm right. a real bitch. So, you might see me got my ass whooped years ago. You might see me got them suck the dick, uh, uh, ate some pussy. You know what I mean? Years ago. And, and people think that you know, they can resurface things and it's going to break me. I don't give a fuck. God. Right? <laughs> right, uh, but did you find out who leaked that video, though? I, like, why we only... You know, I know who leaked it and the thing is, I'm not a police ho. I don't I don't go to police. You know what I mean? I'm going to leave it in the streets. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, you know, and then at some point you got to just stop fighting and let God fight the battle. You know, so I don't care about nobody leaking a sex tape. You not doing nothing to hurt me if I'm telling you that he a real good nigga. I let him fuck me together. It's him and my bitch. We don't cuff no dick. I let him spit in my mouth while she's sucking his dick. I'm a real good bitch. We ain't talking about shit if it don't make me rich. You know my ends my ends. And if you play on my ends and we shoot up the bins, you know I'm fucking on a real nigga. He went on the flip bricks in a real nigga. He taught me how to work in finesse niggas. And I've been getting out the mud no feel nigga. Then I meet a scamming nigga with a band. He had bitches on bitches that dance. He just got the feds on the six year bid because a nigga that sits with man. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you that I fuck bitches. That's not and my first, that's not my first threesome. You think that was my first threesome with this nigga? You know what I mean? <laughs> that I had with this nigga, that was my nigga. So yeah. by, by his insecure bitch, you know, she's a young hoe. So, you know, mm -hmm. when I, was young, I was never leaking nobody news, you know what I mean? Um, but she's a young hoe. That's what she do, you know. She insecure because she know her nigga love me. Mm -hmm. It's crazy that you can sleep next to a nigga every night and he really love a bitch. You know, and you know that she can, this bitch can fuck your nigga anytime she want. <clears throat> mm. Or be with your nigga anytime she want to be with him. Because he love her, you know. And no baby don't keep no nigga, you know. So at right. the end of the day, I don't care about that being leaked. Mm -hmm. I felt like what was the hardest part for me is to explain to my kids that this happened. You know, I could have retaliated in the streets. You know, I got little cousins her age, you know, that'll whoop her ass with no, with no question. But I felt like I done done enough fighting. I want to give it to God. And that's what I did, you know. Yeah. One thing about it, you're going to reap what you sow. But so, while you out here doing all this fucked up shit to people and you thinking that it's going to go and, and it's going to be... God ain't God ain't pleased with that. You reap what you sow. Even <clears throat> when I got my ass whooped them years ago, I reap what I sow. Like, how many bitches I done swung on and beat up and hit in the head with bottles and cut up? I done did a lot of shit. So, in the streets, know that. They mm -hmm. know, whoa, I'm front line. I don't care about losing a fight. <laughs> and on top of that, my big ass was geeked up on the Percocet and I was tired. Like, 
Bitch, okay, come on. I ain't feeling none of this shit. I'm hot. <laughs> all of that happened for me to be this person that I am to this day. So yeah. if it wasn't for them fights that I lost, if it wasn't for them fights that I won, if it wasn't for them six tapes, if it wasn't for the nigga breaking my heart, I wouldn't be who I am to this day. Mm -hmm. So I don't have no regrets on it. If you want me to sit here and cry over some spilled milk, I can't do that. What I can do is show you who I am and put that shit in that music. Because regardless of why y'all call me messy or a bully on television, you can't deny the talent. Right. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I'm a real bitch. And I don't hide shit. Because mm -hmm. I feel like if God with me, who can be against me? Right. You know? And like with that, with people, because you know, I feel like any type of successful female in the game, she's got to be labeled something like she a diva, she mean, or she a bully. What do you feel about like people saying that you are a bully? Like, what do you because you stand up for yourself? Hey, um, when life throws you limits, you make motherfucking lemonade. Period. Um, I might do come off as a bully. That's not me at all. Because I done got my ass whooped before I came one of them all. But being a real bitch mean you might going to take some falls. Long as you get up after your loss, then dust off your flaws. And um, that's me right there owning to whatever you think I am. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not a bully. At the end of the day, you know, you got to understand what a bully is. A bully is a person that pick on people that can't defend themselves. Um, every bitch that I had a problem with, them bitches gave me a reason to, to throw a drink or gave me a reason to swing on them. If I told you I was going to hit you when I see you, you should already have your guard up. Like, this right. is about to hit me because she told me. Anybody and their mama know when John started getting on another level, he can't be stopped. I, I always try to stop John. I be like, John, no, do not fight these people or don't do this. John don't give not one fuck, and I be trying to calm him down. Like, no, stop! You don't understand how hard I have to fight with John. You know, and where where did you, where did John come from? Where with this where did this name come from? John, John been 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 with Akbar for like since she was like seven years old. You okay. know, I was crazy as hell. They were trying to send me to all these psych wars and all this stupid shit. Wasn't nothing wrong with me. It was just like I got this personality, and he ride it up with me. And so like, you just decided it was a guy. It was him. He was you know. Yeah. Guy, yeah, he ride it out with me. Like that's it. Like I can't explain more about it. Like that's who he is. And everybody that knows me from Atlanta, like the real Atlanta, if they are on here, they will tell you John been around since a long time. Like that's like you even interview people that know me from Atlanta. They're gonna tell you like, yes, John has been around. And you know what? The people have learned to accept John for who he is. Like nobody be fighting with John. They be like, leave John alone because they know John how John is. Mm -hmm. So it's best to just let John be who he is. Because every time I try to stop John, it don't work for me. So I have to let John do whatever the fuck he gonna do. And then after that, I talk to John. And I say, John, listen, it was not right for you to do this. Even though he don't give a fuck, I'm <laughs> explain to John like, John, listen, you didn't supposed to do that, you know. But if you know me. You know, John been with me for years since I was a child. And the thing is, it's like. It's no, I'm more. Hold on, wait, y'all. We freezing. Could you hear me? You can hear me? No, you froze. You froze. All we heard was like a little bit of John. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh. Uh, um. I, I I don't I don't care about being judged. You know what I care about? Taking care of my family and putting them in better positions. You know, at the end of the day, I got the world on my shoulders right now because I'm in a I'm in a place where I gotta get there, and I don't know how mm -hmm. I'm gonna get that. Sometimes it's hard to trust a man that I never seen before. You know, it's hard to trust God sometimes. But mm -hmm. you know, I, I try to read my Bible and I try to do everything right. Give me, don't get me wrong. I love God, but it, this this becoming hard for me. And sometimes you're gonna lose faith. You're gonna lose faith sometimes, and, and sometimes you know because you gotta understand, so much is given, much is required. Right. So you know, me picking up coming to Houston or me going to North Carolina and me not being able to see what what i'm doing but i know what vision i had 
years ago in where I wanted to be in life. You know what I'm saying? And it becomes scary. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of people that don't make it in this music. Right. And they don't invested a lot of money, but you got to understand this is how you know when God is real. And, and, and I have doubts sometimes. Don't get me wrong, but then I, I go on my knees and I pray because that's the devil. He want me to have doubts in God. I feel no man but God. Right. You know, I don't been in a situation where a gun is pointed in my face. I didn't feel nothing but God. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you got to understand that this all I ever wanted as a child. You know, I used to look at Destiny Child on television and I used to be like, that's me right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's me right there. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, I always had a dream. Yeah. Did. They didn't know what to do with me because I was acting out. I was looking for love. I wanted my mom. It was like I'm um, lack of love. My auntie tried to do the best she could, but it was something that I feel I'm missing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, it's all I got. I yeah. can't go work a nine to five. I don't know how that feels. Like I don't know. Like I don't know how to. I didn't graduate from high school. Mm -hmm. to, uh, went to college for a diploma. You know, so I'm a dreamer. Like, yeah. like I have dreams. I have dreams and God show me things. Like, I just had a dream this morning. And um, I wasn't pleased with the dream. And I can't, you know, I can't go back and forth, you know, with God. Mm -hmm. gift. And I don't want him to take the gift away because it's a cheat code. Right. You know what I mean? But sometimes I'm scared of the gift that I have. But what, what's us, the what's the fear? Because is it the potential that you have to be great? What's the fear that you have of the gift? I think it's me failing because I'm trying to beat the odds. You know, as a child, I was told you're gonna be like your mama. Mm -hmm. So that plays in my head when I'm about to shoot a video and this video ain't doing what I need him to do, or I'm trying to get studio time and it ain't no studio. All of that plays in my head because, once again, it's like I'm trying to outbeat myself, basically. Yeah. Like, I'm out working. Like, I don't go to sleep sometimes. Like, I, I sleep when I sleep, mm. basically. But I can tell you that I'm going to get there because I'm hungry and I got a talent. You know, these girls on this show, this all they have is it, it, love to pop. And I hate to say it, you know, and I'm thankful for Mona and Stephanie and Big Fish, but some girls, this is all they got. Yeah. Love and hip hop. And have you, I know you said sometimes you think like, you know what I'm saying, you try to beat the odds. Have you ever like just patted yourself on the back? Because you have really, I know it's a lot of places you want to go. You have, you got to, you got to, because you have, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I, I let me tell you the little things about this industry. Mm -hmm. A person can have on a necklace. Right, a watch, and y'all would be like, "Oh, this person got money. This person, this this person that." Just because they sit there and flash you a little money, you don't know the backstory on what they get money. To. These people are scamming. You don't right. know how they. You know what I'm saying? So what you got to look at it? You got to look at it like, I don't want to be that. Mm -hmm. I, myself if i can't get the watch i want if i can't get the necklace i want then i won't buy nothing you know my necklace got to be worth the 80 my watch got to be worth the 60 i'm not coming to get none of that fake ass now when i come i'm gonna come correct that's the difference between me and them half of these people you see can't even pay their rent they always moving hmm. you know what i mean but you're gonna say oh they did say that let me tell you what I noticed. If a person didn't need love and hip hop, they wouldn't be on it. Mm. I'm going to be real with you. Mm. Cardi B, yes, um, love and hip hop, she got the hell on. Right. K. Michelle, yes, love and hip hop, got the hell on and succeeded. Even though she came back, she left. Right. So, because it's it, yours, it, 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 it they try to play it like, they try to downplay it. But when shit not working in your life no more, you come, you don't love me, hip-hop. I be lost. Me, I never signed a deal with nobody. Hmm. I never signed shit on paper. So, to be who I am, 
it's a blessing. You yeah. gotta understand. Nicki Minaj was following me way before Love and Hip Hop. Meek Mill was following me before Love and Hip Hop. Queen Latifah was following me way before Love and Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. They let you know that I was already making noise before Love and Hip Hop. Right. Love and, and what do you think it is about you that was already like in the streets? Like, Cause you was buzzing. Like I knew about you way before Love and Hip Hop. So what do you think it was about you that people was like, oh yeah, we got to rock with her. It was the reality of me owning up with who I am and not being mm. a fake bitch. You know, people can judge me and they'll get in my presence and I treat you like a heart of gold. Mm. And it ain't a front. You gonna know it's real because I'm gonna be like, bitch, come on over here and get some of this drink. Oh, bitch, <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, come on. Like, bitch, you yeah. are. That's who I am. Like, I don't, I don't care for this thing. I want the money. Facts, period. You know, so. and I tell God when I used to rap, I used to say, well, I used to pray. Well, when I prayed, because I still pray, I used to say, God, well, I want the money. I don't need a relationship. So I wonder why I don't have a man. Because, you know, I do want, you know, I want who I want. Yeah. Oh, Drake, you know, but. I, I, it reminded me that, you know, you told God, you got to be careful what you ask God. You want your career before you want a, a, a nigga. Mm -hmm. I get lonely sometimes, you know, so I just, I might just start playing with myself again and not, and just going celibacy. What is that? Is you still celibate if uh, you, you play with yourself? I don't know. Not, yeah, because that right, that's the one nobody else, ain't nobody penetrating you yet. So yeah. <laughs> I might be trying to pray, and I'd be like, God, get this Jazzabelle spirit away from me. <laughs> she try to fight me a little harder. Look, look. Hey, it's all good. You need satisfaction. We get it. It's okay. Yeah, honey, I haven't <laughs> in forever. I want a nut. <laughs> well, like you said, you can make yourself. Uh-uh, because it ain't fun. Then I got to watch girl on girl flicks for me to nut. Uh-uh. Really? I need some vitamin D. Well, not right now. Not doing quarantine because we don't know what what packages they coming along with right now. I know, but if I put on a condom, I won't get nothing. And he got to wear a condom and a mask. <laughs> and a mask. Okay, well, you know. As long as you're taking the precautions, look. I don't know, but my pussy's fat. <laughs> I'm fat. <laughs> fat. Baby, I was not this way, girl. Uh, stress the fuck out. <laughs> But look, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Is this what we're going to be talking about on this new mixtape, though, Drop It? What is the vibe? Like, what's the vision that you have for this mixtape? Because um, the song you just dropped, I was getting, like, you know, the struggle, like... Not going to be out that way. Okay, okay, give it to me. I was in North Carolina with this dude. His name is 704 Chop. Uh-huh. And um, we went in the studio, and it's like we made shit is like you know um and the song is called stick talk uh -huh. and that's coming out monday that comes out monday yeah. um but for the most part uh he's a talented artist and um i had a great time you know working with him and understanding the north carolina culture you know what i mean because yeah he, when he and i disagree he'd be like i ain't nothing like them atlanta niggas uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. <laughs> so, um, hi, Brittany B. Uh, he'd be like, I ain't there like these Atlanta niggas. Da -da, da -da, da -da. So, uh, I got to understand what Charlotte is about. Cause yeah. He's like, All right. You know how I am for Atlanta? That's how he's for Charlotte. He'd be like, Ooh. okay. So, um, the song called Stick Talk, um, it's a dope song. It's, 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 it's a heartfelt song. Um, after that, I'm going to drop the prayer song. It's Akbar's prayer. And that's me, like, talking to God. You know, and the song is very, it's very painful. It's very uplifting. It's very uh, original. Because, you know, I'm basically asking God, like, God, how you let all these people crucify me when you said if I seek you first, then you would stand right by me. You said not mm. let me be trouble while I feel like dying. And every time I'm reaching out, why you not even replying? And I'm talking to him. Um, and, and, and it's really just me just telling him how I feel, you know. Yeah. But it's uplifting at the same time. Um, and then I think that's when uh, I drop a visual for that. And then 
I should be done gave y'all a tape by then. Um, ready? I just got goosebumps when you did that little verse right there, though. Yeah, the the song is hard, and then in the first beginning of it, I got my daughter and me and her having a conversation because that's my that's my rider. Her mm -hmm. and um, my oldest son, my um Dora and um Derivian. Uh, but my oldest daughter, she be on it. She be like, "Ma, this because one thing about me, I don't play by my kids." Yeah. You know, uh, and and that's another thing so when people be calling me a bully and stuff. You know, like you can't call me a bully because I know how I feel for one of my sons to get bullied, like my youngest son, because he's like, um, he's like a, he's like a, a nerd. My son is like a, a mini me Einstein. His name Jeremy, and they try to bully him because his grandma don't let him well wear, you know, the the gear, like you know. What oh. I mean? He's older, and she believes in, like, boots, but he got that shit. He wear it on the weekend, but, yeah. So they tried to bully my baby, and I was like, you better let them know your motherfucking mama come up there. Right. Do that on it. But that's neat to hear that, you know what I'm saying? So I don't never want to play the play the role of a bully, you know, and that was, it was like, why y'all calling me that? You know, I know I speak what I say and stand for what I believe in, but I ain't no damn bully, <laughs> you know. But I got that girl Tink on that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's dropping. That's what. What song? She's on TikTok, right? Now nah, she's on Leak, baby. Leak. Okay. Okay. So I got a song called Leak for the sex tape they dropped on me. So, <laughs> so when the life throw you lemons, bitch, you gonna make you some lemonade with some extra sugar, right? <laughs> yeah. Period. Okay. I got a song called Leak. Mm -hmm. yeah, so at the end of the day, I want y'all to get into it. And this for all the real bitches that a nigga holding a sex tape over your head, or a nigga that leaked the sex tape on you, or even if the nigga just, you know, trying to record you. Because it is the thing, though. The nigga recorded me eating the girl out, but I recorded myself with me sucking the dick. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I took it out my phone because I let him go in my phone and shit. Like he, right. he be do it. That was my nigga, you know what I mean? I ain't no boundaries with my nigga. Whatever my nigga with, I'm over with it, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's the bitch I am. Like, I can get a nigga right now. Like, my nigga want to have a threesome. I'm a, I'm riding with my nigga. That's my nigga, you know? Right. So it was, and, and, and sometimes you be riding with the wrong nigga. Um, and, 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 and then sometimes it can it can throw, be thrown in your face. So ladies, I advise you that if he ain't no loyal nigga, Ain't no way in the hell that you should be uh, giving him them them type of pleasures. You got to make sure that nigga got your front back in both sides. And that nigga that I was fucking with, you know, to this day, I, I just can't understand him. You know, because I was a real rider when it came to him. Right. He, he, I was there. You know, he was fucked up. I helped him, you know, at the end of the day. And I don't never hold it over his head that he should protect me at all costs. Nigga, I'm the bad. I'm the one going to change your situation. Mm -hmm. Things like that. That's just like you can have all these friends around you. And the problem is everybody want to be a chief and not, not it ain't it ain't no Indian. You know, you got to be an Indian before you come a chief. Right. Now today, if I'm the bad, you protect the bad at all costs. I'm the bitch that's going to change your life. You know what I'm saying? People don't look at it like that because they be having a lot of envy in their heart. That's why... God ain't going to let certain things come around me or certain people be around me if your heart is not pure. Because when I pray to him, my worries be, if they don't mean me no good, you remove them from the yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you got a friend and she got talent or he got talent and you be wondering why uh, these people get famous and they leave people, what could you bring to the table? Hmm. What could you bring to the table? Okay, here it is. You know your friend need assistance. All right, friend, look, we're going to do this. How we going to do this? All right, I'm going to help you until you get the bag. You know, right. your assistant. Then when you get the bag, um, yeah, I need to be on payroll. You got to give yourself jobs. You know what I'm saying? You got to give yourself titles. So when you get yourself titles, it ain't nowhere in the hell that you shouldn't be making your own money. It's nowhere in the hell that, uh, that I should have to feed anybody. Right. You own bag because you got yourself a position you know it's about creating job titles for yourself when you're around your friend. but you know what everybody want to be a chief and not an indian and not an indian mm -hmm. I, so i like a lot it's okay to be an indian mm -hmm. because some of the greatest chiefs 
Well, Indians first. And so would you say that's your biggest lesson that you don't learn since like being in this industry and being in the position you in? The biggest lesson I have learned in this industry was, you know, be who you are. Because they're gonna grasp to who you are more so you put on this front for people. So right. part of it, I'm not faking my lifestyle, I'm not faking to have all this type of money, or I'm not faking that goddamn on so thick or eat pussy. Pardon me. Pardon me if I'm letting you see who the real me is. You know, I don't give a fuck about how nobody that's fake looking at me. A lot of people not gonna accept me because my presence is felt like the Black Panther movement. It's a it's a it's a force to be reckoned with. It's strong. You know what I mean? So I don't care how you receive me. Only thing I care about is, you know, me taking care of my family and, mm -hmm. and being who I am. You know, a lot of these girls is never going to last. They will never be a, a Nicki Minaj or Lauren Hill because they are wannabe rappers. I rap, period, in Nicki Minaj voice. <laughs> and, like, and speaking of female rappers, who was, like, your top, I'm going to say three female rappers, like, that you would say in the game? Nicki Minaj, um, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Period. All right then. Well, we got your answer. So, and like, and when you um, they coming who haven't reached their peak yet? Mm -hmm. I have to go with London, um, Lady London. Um, oh yeah, I'm Amaretta and um and and Rocky from Philly. Mm -hmm. and you know when like speaking of them and like how they rap and everything especially like Lady London I really like her um that bitch got a word play for days don't she though don't she like facts but why do you think like certain rappers like such as yourself and girls like them have not reached a full peak when y'all like really actually rapping like talking about something um it's God's timing I don't yeah. I don't think about uh, because of this, this rap, blah, 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 blah. I don't think about stuff like that. I think if God have this for you, then you gonna do it. Point blank, period. Like, if you're not supposed to be a rapper, you're not gonna be a rapper. If you're not supposed to last long in this industry, you're not gonna last long. It's God's will. Mm -hmm. I don't think about oh, if this gonna work. No, I know I'm gonna be great. I know I'm gonna be big. I know I'm gonna be on Nikki and, and Beyonce and Rihanna level. He yeah. told me. He showed me. I know when Beyonce meet me, she gonna love me and give me a track. I know this guy showed me. Let him know. Okay. Look. <laughs> Period. <laughs> People in my DM and they say, I bro, you got any advice? Pray. That's the only advice I got. Pray. Mm -hmm. Pray. All right. All right. Y'all heard her pray. And make sure y'all check out this music that we got dropping. So it's going to be every Monday until the mixtape drop, right? We getting visuals too? Every Monday. <laughs> all y'all hang ass bitches, I'm gonna drop it in your face every Monday. Yeah. But look though, you know what? You wanna eat my pussy though. That's all. <laughs> that's say you wanna eat me out. Let them know. I mean, why y'all in the comments right now? Let them know that that's what y'all really want. So you like me. <laughs> and I but look, my pussy because like this is the only thing. I can't be gay because you know I can't take you to church and your pastor's gonna be like sunshine. Sunshine. You know that ain't of the Lord. And I respect my pastor. Anybody know me, they know I love my pastor. She gonna be like, sunshine, that is not of the Lord. God got a husband for you. That's how she'll talk to me. She just called me. That's why my phone started uh, skipping. I'm gonna oh, call. Oh, the pastor called? Yeah. Oh, my... we, gotta get off, we gotta get off the line then. That's Jesus <laughs> calling. Pastor. Look. My pastor more than I talk to anybody in this world. All right now. My pastor, my pastor know my deepest fears, baby. She know everything about me. I don't lie to my pastor. Even when that sex tape came out, she like, yeah, they told me about it, sunshine. I ain't want to see that mess. They putting that out on my baby. She loved me. My pastor loved me. Well, go ahead. Call pastor back. But I was going to say, since Monday is a holiday, it's like um, Memorial Day. You should probably maybe drop like two things for us. I'm just saying that'd be nice. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a holiday. When? Next Monday. Uh huh. Monday coming up. I give y'all a video in the song. That's my word. Y'all heard it, and I'm gonna make sure I got this screen recorded, and I'm gonna put it out on Monday, just in case. I got y'all a video in the song on Monday. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you for stopping by, girl, and much success. Oh, I love you, and you make sure you be praying because troubles don't last always, and, and it's a that you got placed before God, and He's gonna do it for you. Thank you. Well, See?
Have they was like, wrong about you, girl. You got a great spirit. Okay. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.